Hello, my name's Melissa Bean and I'm the park manager at Tuttle Creek Lake and I'm here to talk to you about the Stilling Basin Rehabilitation Construction Project. For 54 years, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers at Tuttle Creek have regulated the flow of water on the lower Big Blue and Kansas rivers, protecting downstream agriculture, industry, and communities from some $8 billion in flood damages. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers uses a comprehensive dam safety program to ensure the protection of property, environment, and life. Continuous, methodical inspection has been a critical part of the operation and maintenance at Tuttle Creek Dam since construction in 1963. This video will explain our most recent efforts to meet current dam safety requirements with the Stilling Basin Rehabilitation Construction Project. This project focuses on the Stilling Basin. Located on the west end below the dam, the basin, locally known as the tubes, is where water releases from the lake and is slowed before being directed downstream. Three features are being addressed by this project. The walls, comprised of 24 individual sections, a system of drain pipes located on the landward side of each wall, and the surrounding parking lot, sidewalks, handrails, and other public access features. We will be solving three problems at the basin. Sinkholes, wall stability, and deteriorating concrete. The most visible problem at the basin is a sinkhole, which developed during high releases in 1987 and again in 2015. Located 35 feet under the parking lots is a system of pipes which drain groundwater from behind the basin walls into the stilling basin, especially during high releases from the lake. Corrosion, holes have developed in these metal pipes, exposing the sand and rock fill above. During high releases, water surges back through the pipes and transports the fill material out into the basin, creating voids and eventually a sinkhole. Two sinkholes were temporarily fixed in 1987 and one additional sinkhole again in 2015 by patching the pipe, installing filters, and cap. The permanent fix to these is recurring sinkholes will require extensive excavation and replacement of the drain system. The next issue to be addressed is increasing the stability of the basin walls. Although the walls show no signs of movement, there is concern that elevated groundwater levels behind the walls under exceptionally high releases may tilt the walls inward into the basin, causing possible collapse. The conditions triggering movement of the wall system are exceedingly rare. Although the chance is unlikely, the result would significantly reduce the operability for Tuttle Creek. An anchor system is needed to further secure the walls. The final issue to be addressed is replacing deteriorating concrete around the top of the basin. Original defects in the concrete, combined with 54 years of freeze-thaw cycles, has resulted in significant cracks, flaking, and loss of concrete. In addition to structural concerns, further loss will threaten public access as handrails anchors are weakened and they become more exposed. Extensive concrete replacement would resolve this issue. This $7.62 million project will repair defects that caused past sinkholes, increase wall stability, and replace the deteriorated concrete in addition to renovating the public access features. Demolition will include excavation behind the walls to a depth of 22 feet and removal of the top eight feet of the concrete sidewalls. The old drain system will be abandoned in place and grouted closed and a new system installed. 34 post-tension anchors measuring up to 106 feet in length will be installed vertically through the basin walls and secure them to the foundation bedrock. The top eight feet of the basin walls will be replaced with new concrete, and new handrails, sidewalks, parking lots, and roadway will complete the project. Work will be completed over a 24-month period. During this time, the entire basin will be closed to the public. The east side of Outlet Park, including shelters 3, 4, and the Blue River Trail, will also be closed to maintain safety and security during the project. Access to the State Park River Pond area will be maintained across the top of the dam via K-13. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism have worked closely with stakeholders to ensure continued access for special events, and that includes Country Stampede. Operational capabilities, lake water levels, and associated releases from the outlet works during the project will be maintained. The public can expect the following impacts. During drilling of the new drain system, short-term reductions in the downstream river pond elevation will be required, making boat ramps and docks unusable. This will also expose the low head dam at Rocky Ford. 
Lake releases will continue to be maintained through the basin. Only limited sections of the basin walls will be demolished at a time, and this allows us to isolate releases to the opposite side of the basin while maintaining construction activities. Releases from the outlet works will not be stopped for the duration of this project, although short-term reductions will occur at opportune times. Water control operations due to this construction project will not require releases from the spillway. Following construction, visitors can once again access the basin for fishing and viewing releases. The most noticeable change will be incorporation of the 34 anchors into the much wider walkway. The walkway will still provide universal access to both sides of the basin, allowing visitors to view and fish from the new pipe baluster handrails. Some parking will be lost, but painted parking stalls will accommodate 42 vehicles. Traffic lanes will also be striped to further delineate the area. And of course, the fish cleaning station will return to its current location. So I thank you for your time, and please see our webpage for more current information on the project. And we look forward to seeing you at Tuttle Creek Lake.